I managed to do the whole review with this thing on. <laughs> I was sweating my ass off. <laughs> I spoilers. Didn't know you could take the, the cowl spoilers. off, Joe. I would ask you to no, take it off. Spoilers. What? Joe I'm Lopez. Batman. I thought it was Bruce Wayne. God damn, no, it's, no. How the fuck does nobody figure out who We're fucking never Bruce the Wayne same is, room. is Batman? <laughs> you, they tease that here that Riddler, you know, at, at one point, Batman goes to Riddler's, uh, you know, apartment and house and sees that he has shit all over his wall uh, having to do with this plot, but then some extra stuff on the side that's like, Bruce Wayne, I know who Batman you really is. are. And no, it doesn't say that because they need to ha hold the uh, suspense where he's like, oh, uh, Riddler <laughs> wants to see you, Batman. He goes over to visit the Riddler and he's like, Bruce Wayne. And he's like taunting him and Batman's looking at the fucking recording. He's like, I got to destroy that shit later. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking like, suffocate this motherfucker. He's the worst time. poker face ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> But it turns out the Riddler didn't fucking know nope. that it was Batman. And instead, he was just talking about, you know, we got to get rid of people like, you know, Bruce Wayne. We got to get rid of the uh, all these politicians all and super like, rich billionaires yeah. that uh, promise us shit and never fucking deliver. And so the message is there. And yeah, I like so the like, villains I could get when they behind have a that, good... But it's like, that is too yeah. extreme. <laughs> yeah. Well, his behavior, it's like, this is a social media riddler, and he manages to get some followers, and I'm like, with the way he's acting, I'm like, yeah, I don't think that, that oh, people are going to follow that motherfucker. Really? Yeah, really? you're... Okay, you're <laughs> right, like, Joe. You're right. Really? <laughs> Really, you don't think so? <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So let's jump into uh, spoilers. Uh, so Alex, take take this shit over. What what's going on here? All Thank right. God we didn't have to go through another origin story. I really appreciate. Oh, there were no that. pearls. I wanted to see pearls <laughs> yeah. get no, ripped so out of the necklace many. and then no, strewn about over Crime Alley. And they kind of did some origins of Batman yeah. and talking about his mother and father. It was a little father. different. I yeah. like that. It was a new take. Yeah. Well, it, how was it different, Joe? Uh, so the mother is an Arkham, uh, a family of the Arkham, and the Waynes, they found a Gotham. And, but the mom is a little crazy. She was in the institutions, and so there's like a lot of family dirt, which leads up to you know kind of this whole maybe Thomas Wayne wasn't the Boy Scout that we thought he was. Ultimately, the, the movie comes down to Riddler is running around doing stuff. Batman has been doing... Uh, been Batman for about two years now. Yes. And Batman at the beginning of the movie is is vengeance, right? He, he his thing is I, I have vengeance, yeah, and so I liked those scenes. Me too. It really Everyone. makes me buy the concept of Batman, where there's random criminals, uh, random criminals that are doing fucked up shit. And then they'll look they in the, the darkness sign. and yeah, they, they see, see the sign in there. Like, there's no, they can't see if there's anything in there. And they're like, all right, fuck it. I'm just going to leave just and, in and case. And I, I like that, too, because he's like, that was look, so I can't well be everywhere at once, but I, sur I strike fear. So yeah. everyone's like, looking in there. I was like, fear right, is I'm an done. effective tool. I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm going to explain about that to Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> Batman needs to have a talk with Boba Fett. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Uh, and Riddler's running around doing stuff. He kills the mayor, like right in the very, very beginning, and starts this whole like and it, the it, corruption. Yeah, lies, there's a, yeah. He's, the Riddler's targeting a bunch of corrupt people within Gotham, and there's this. Why whole, does he kill the mayor? Uh, the mayor and a bunch of the pe the corrupt people had actually brokered a deal um, with uh, with the mob, right? And so there, the everyone in the city was actually carving up this uh, this charity that uh, Thomas Wayne had founded, right? Called Renew, Promise, about a yeah. billion dollars, and, and all these people were being corrupt and they were stealing from it. And these two different mob bosses, we got the Falcones, and then uh, um, I forget the name, Mar Mar Marcioni, or some uh, some of them, right? Uh, uh, Maroni, 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 Maroni. Yeah. Maroni. And so uh, the Falcone went to all of them Falcone. and said, "Look, look we're going to rat on this guy. He's going to take the fall for this whole operation, but I'm going to I'm going to take his operation." And then I'm going to install you as mayor. I'm going to make, you know, you will become mayor because of how popular you'll become. I'm going to make you the DA. You're going to be this. And so Falcone runs Sometimes the whole Sometimes a little too realistic. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> John, that was John Turturro. And I kept seeing him, his Jesus? goofy performance With the, uh, as, uh, from Transformers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I was thinking about the what was it? Big he? Lebowski. Big Lebowski. Yeah, he's, the, he's like, yeah. shit, like, the like polishing oh, the balls. Jesus, Jesus, yeah, <laughs> Jesus, yeah. It's like, anyways, anyways, I'm trying Jesus. to take him seriously. I know he's good, but yeah, so, he, he did great. 
Um, and so he just starts slowly assassinating these people one by one, leaving Batman uh, clues and messages. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, in fact, Riddler is a bit of a vigilante himself. Yeah. And uh, that's kind of what he's talking to Batman, what he wanted to talk to Batman about. We thought it was like, man, Riddler's so fucking smart that he figured that shit out easy. No, he's a dumbass. Uh, and he can't notice uh, ta- uh, fucking um, Robert Pattinson's chiseled jawline. <laughs> Nobody mm. can fucking notice it. It's just like when you stare at Superman, you're like, hey, <laughs> you know, you kind of look like You're looking up. Like, hey, you're a big Wait motherfucker. A minute. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take them glasses <laughs> off. Yeah. Anyways, but uh, he sees him. Oh, you're wearing a mask. I'm wearing a mask. You are not so different, you and I. <laughs> Which, that didn't happen. The writing didn't get that bad. Actually, no, Catwoman says that at one point. Yeah, She's like, we're sure. not, not so different. Yeah, you think you the worst of people. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. But, it was a twist on it because she was like, them fucking rich people, you know, they don't understand you and me. And he's like, uh, uh, yes. At one point, she did call him a rich boy. Yeah. Right? Was like, you, you must like have been born kid. rich yeah. because you have yeah. no idea. And she turned it on him and she was like, that was a good like grounding moment for him where he got to realize. Like There's a lot of that in this thing where he doesn't understand a key piece of evidence because he's fucking rich. He's never installed carpet before. Like, There's little things like that where we show that there can be growth for this character. The problem is... We're, He's only, an orphan. They're planting Look, the seeds yeah. for yeah. here, and we're not. We don't. We're not going to get the payoff until maybe two or three, and so. He's an orphan, as Riddler explains, looking down on everybody. He's like, you don't know what it's really like to yeah. be an orphan. Let's go, 30, poor boy. Thirty with kids all the money. packed. Yeah, in, into a small space. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so they, they, they got that kind of vibe of Seven, you know, they're trying to follow him around, he keeps leaving, uh, saw-like, you know, puzzles and, and, uh, people. bombs attached to people and shit, uh, Rats which, eat through a dude's face. Oh my god, it's, yeah, exactly, and then another guy blows up in front of fucking Batman and, it, I, I thought his face would be burned or something. The motherfucker blew up right in front Did of me. Did you not see how chiseling <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he took the hit. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, like I said, really, really good performances. And they tie the mob in here uh, quite heavily. Um, That's what that I liked. Thomas there was like two Wayne, things going on at once, but it was still do comprehensive. You, yeah. Do you think his dad's a piece of shit? Do you think no. Thomas Wayne's no. a piece of shit? I believe in what Andy Serkis is out for. Yeah, because like it's like his wife. He's just trying to protect his wife. And so like, well, Falcons. He's the piece of shit Batman guy. Exactly. He was just saying just, that mm-hmm. uh, your father came to me to make this reporter go away who was going to expose all your family's he secrets. He said to us, like, strike fear in him, but yeah. fear didn't I work. Mean, so I fucking little, killed him. He's a little bit of a piece of shit. Because he tried to fucking pay the guy off. Yeah. And then he tried to shut him up. And then he went to the mob to shut him up. That, that, that I, is I, a I, big mistake. You gotta be a fucking dumbass if you, if you don't understand what that means. So I like that, though. Because yeah. I don't it's like towing on that. You got the cartoon where his parents are just fucking paragons of truth and justice. And it's like. I think it's more Motherfuckers gritty just watch and a real. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That there is a bit of. Uh, what would you call dirt. it? Dirt, dirt on on it, and and torture, you know, and and uh, a complexity that it, you know his his mom was a mental patient in and out of uh, the Arkham Asylum and shit. So, mm-hmm. anyways, uh, they play up on that a little bit. They they try to give a reason for Catwoman to be more in the film because I feel like she doesn't really have much to do Mm-mm. other than to be sexy so that she can be Batman's a eyes a, mm-hmm. in a club. But, ba- I mean, honestly, Batman go- goes in the club like fucking five times in the film. <laughs> once he, once he showed up to Batman, beats the fuck out of the guys. Then he shows up as Bruce Wayne and they're going to be... Then he sh- and, then, and then nobody shows up when they open the door. That's like the one joke in there that these two uh, guys... The uh, twins. <laughs> the twins that... Uh, uh, Bounce for the club, keep getting their ass beat, and keep opening the door <laughs> to crazy people. Anyways, uh, well, what the fuck was I saying? Uh, they just kind of misuse Catwoman because I think yeah. in the first the first ten minutes that we see her, she actually is really fucking badass. She has a good fight with Batman. Yeah. It's believable. She cracks a safe. Totally believable. Yeah. And there's things that were when when she's doing those things, it works. The issue is there's a lot of times where she's just Selena Kyle. And yeah. she's not a great Selena Kyle. Mm-hmm. There's not a lot like when she's There's Catwoman. No chemistry. She's yeah. doing great, and so I just think that the when they really try to focus yeah. on, it's like no, I'm trying to 
you get oh, justice my, justice for my friend. It's yeah, like, ah. you reminded me of that. Yeah, they do the justice for the friend. That's her whole thing. As yeah. she just want to, I'm like, really, Catwoman? Okay, well, I take in strays is how they justify it. But they tie her in even more because they feel like they need another one where she's actually the daughter of the Falcon, uh, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. but crime family. I'm like, you didn't need to do that. You know, you're just changing shit. Okay, fine. Uh, you're the daughter, and she wants to kill Falcon. Yeah, they Falcon. try to give her more weight to the character. Yeah, yeah. and and. You know, Robert Pattinson's Batman is like, no, you don't, you don't want to do that. You don't want to kill him, and you know he does his best to try to prevent her from killing, uh, you know, the guy. Anyways, you don't so kill anyone. I'm just gonna make all these dudes shoot each other. Batman in this <laughs> makes a lot of dudes shoot other dudes, and that ain't um, his fault. I'm okay with that. So as long as Batman is not going. You know, no, he had a like fucking the, grappling hook like through people's athlete. legs. There is femoral artery right in there. Yeah. Like, you died. <laughs> <laughs> grappling hooks. Just getting yanked by your was leg. The machine, and I, look, <laughs> I actually like the fact that they show what it's really like to fight Batman. Because a lot of these movies, you know, they'll put Batman in close range. And it's like, okay, yeah, it's easy for people. You know, now. They put several people at far range. And it's like, if I'm firing an assault rifle at you, how does Batman react? And we get to fucking see, you know, I'm going to use my... falling off shit. Okay, and... I don't have a gun, but I'm going to fuck you up with my grappling hook because yeah. I need to stop you're being You're going to be in fucking pain once I yank that. That's yeah. going through your fucking leg. And in fact, I'm, I feel like trying to yank your cape from over here. Nah. They, sh- they address that. It's like, why does Batman fight with a cape? That's a liability. They did it. Yeah. They fucking no capes. dragged his ass, but he did a little spin and kicked. He's a, well, he's it a, turns into a, a squirrel suit. I don't. That's I don't it. have an explanation for how good of a fighter he is. I don't know if that's going to be in one of the spinoffs. They explained with Alfred. Alfred, says Alfred, that Alfred like, taught him how to fight, but, but I Alfred's SAS, you be... I think. Yeah. I think that's what the the, the I new. I think I need a little bit more than SAS to to you know justify his fucking invulnerability and his amazing fighting abilities. I liked the the Dark Knight trilogy that kind of um, explained yeah. a little bit of. The... He's rich. He could take classes on the yeah. weekends. Job. Not true. Yeah. Every black belt. He, yeah, he took uh, Taekwondo he took at the University taekwondo. of Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he took online Taekwondo. <laughs> He's a black belt. Um, and parkour. <laughs> parkour. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, as, uh, then we get a fucking fantastic scene of. Uh, uh, you know the Gordon and 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 Batman trying to you know uncover this operation. They said the biggest drug bust in history for the previous mayor was actually just a sham. And they start to discover this, and fucking Penguin walks out and it's like, oh, what the fuck are you trying to steal my money? And he's, he's like fucking gunfire and shit. And then we get that badass chase scene, which starts with one of the coolest scenes. Where it's like Batman, he's where? Where did Batman go? Because Catwoman is getting shot at. She's about to be killed, and he's like revving his car. <laughs> Man, I, I love, love that. that sound though. Yeah, That's and that so rocket good. engine was really cool. Which I, I was like, what the fuck? Why, why didn't he use the rocket engine much sooner to like you know? But whatever, we have to have the cha- chase. Yeah, scene. Uh, and it was worth it because there were people around. He won't do it because. People are danger or something. He only I don't, he waited I don't until know. there was a bunch of people. Yeah, people all those people were on died. fire. He waited till all the people were dead, and yeah. then he did it <laughs> because there was a lot of collateral damage. Uh, Penguin yes. slams into a semi, which is a gas truck semi, which hits a bunch of other cars and semis, which and then I, the gas yeah, truck yeah. explodes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but just then, Batman is able to use one of the cars as a ramp. Just in time. <laughs> just in time. And uh, it perfectly went down. Yeah. <laughs> right. Both but of them I don't down. give a fuck. Totally excused because it is some of the best, coolest imagery. It sucks because they used it in the trailer. I and really so hate it. I've seen it, it a bunch of times, but man, that fucking shot was really impressive. You know, like, Up until when he goes like this, <laughs> it's like it's but hard I to be But I also like uh, uh, the Penguin's performance on this one. He's like, I yeah. got you. I got ah. you. I was like, Colin Curry did say, great. Yeah. <laughs> he did great as the Penguin on that. I'm saying the highs of the film were like 10 out of 10s. I can see where why people were doing that, but. It's just some of the lows for me. Like it, it would lose me, and then I'd fall out. And I'd notice sometimes when I would fall out, I noticed that the the soundtrack that you're talking about. I loved the soundtrack, but I, but I think maybe it was one or two adjustments too high. It would sometimes overpower scenes, in mm-hmm. in my opinion. Um, but anyways, so uh, after uh, after the chase scene, uh, chase scene, yeah, uh, Alfred is in danger at some point uh, because Riddler turns his attention to Bruce Wayne 
And uh, Batman's racing over there because he sends a fucking bomb in, in the Because the sins mail. of the father go to the son. What was it? Yeah, what yeah. The exactly. sins of the father goes to the son. So mm-hmm. Thomas lied about the whole thing, and he unveiled everything. He's like, oh, shit. I kept Bruce wondering, is how is it going to tear this city apart, and you can't handle what's about to happen? I kept thinking, are they going to do, like, like the... Owls, uh, you know, from the Court of Owls or something like that, that there's like fucking shit you don't fucking mess with. But no, it was more of all the corruption across all the different branches would require a a massive, you know, change and everything. Yeah. Um, But yeah, so they, they, they do the bomb. Uh, luckily, I guess be probably because of special forces training, he's able to recognize. Oh, and it also says fireproof right there on the letter. I don't know why he <laughs> would like do beep, that beep, beep, if he just beep. didn't put that label. <sighs> he yeah, the, he he notices the fucking fireproof and big print, and he throws it. And luckily, it's far enough away that Alfred is not dead. Because I was like, holy shit, are they about to fucking kill Alfred? And they also explained it real quick, too, because I was about to be pissed, too, because, like, he's calling and calling, and the phone's ringing, and you see uh, Alfred going, moving all slow, doing his own thing. It's like, oh, yeah, this happened an hour ago. I was yeah. like, oh, okay, you got me. Like, we're not near the phone. You we're got, helping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It already happened. It's like, all right, you got me. <laughs> this is this is one part of the movie that I thought was actually fairly weak writing-wise. Uh, the, the, the hour? The, no, not the hour thing. It's like, so he, he takes the mayor. He cracks him in the face. He cuts his thumb off, sets up this thumb drive. Oh, yeah. He does a bunch of crazy shit. The <laughs> chief drive. of police, he makes a rat maze, and the rats chew through his face to get through <laughs> the rat maze, does a bunch of crazy shit. And then he mails a bomb to Bruce Wayne. Yeah, the, it's the, not the, quite as creative. The, the, the poster child for his child, like his traumas, right? This this person he's built up in his yeah. mind. He's like, I'm gonna mail him a bomb. Yeah, like I wanted, I wanted him to try to do something more fucked up. Yeah, um, it just didn't kind of fit. Well, uh, I always try to jump to the film's defense. I always take a. I totally agree with Alex. No, yeah. no. But I if I'm gonna one, try to like, fight it, then I'm gonna say, well, remember he's an orphan and he knows Bruce Wayne's an orphan, so he's taking some kind of. Solace. He doesn't want to torture him. He just wants to kill him quickly. He could have blown up the mailman, uh, though. And, yeah, you're right. Um... <laughs> Because there wasn't a camera on it. Otherwise, he would have blown. He wouldn't have blown up the butler. Mm-hmm. He was just like, oh, "I need Bruce Wayne to die." So yeah. then uh, the evidence <laughs> is leaked, and uh, Falcone is exposed because there was a recording. The uh, that lady that died because uh, he fucking strangled her because she found out about this. Uh, it's a big underground network, which like these people are fucking stupid. They're like all these DAs and really important cops are going to this fucking shady ass club where mobsters are hanging out. It's just dumb as fuck. You the know, ma- somebody's well, going to say paid. something. They're getting paid. With the mayor finds a like prostitute lady, a, a girl at this bar and tells her, I'm part of this giant scandal. Yeah. I know you know we just met and we're about to have <laughs> sex, but what let me tell fuck? you about this one time where I betrayed like the whole city's Listen, trust Alex, and they've got involved in this giant I conspiracy. I played devil's advocate on that one. He was all hyped up on the drip. Oh, right? the drops? The drops or whatever. He had too, yeah. too much. I got to tell you. And he started hold, telling you everything. that 10 out of 10 up or 9. <laughs> uh, anyways, so uh, Selena... Uh, then basically uh, lets Batman know that that this piece of shit is her father. In addition to you, gotta beat him up. I gotta beat him up. And then they tr- he tries to race her to because uh, she she gets in combat mode. She's ready to fucking just pop him, you know. Kill and him, she yeah. could have killed him, but she's just a bad that, shot. She, I was gonna. I was like, "What the fuck?" I turned to my girlfriend. I was like, "Come on!" The lights went off. And the light, no, she's pointed right at him. Just because the lights go off doesn't mean she suddenly goes like this. <laughs> There's nothing but like street lights and not, nothing but open windows. Yeah, but the it's lights light. go off. It's like pitch okay. dark. I was like, "Wait, I, yeah, how did you? Yeah. Did you turn off the That's whole the city? One. That was a stupid. Did moment. you turn off the whole city? Is that what happened? It's okay for this film to have a few of those things that we can make fun of, because um, I'm sure we're getting downvoted because it's not a ten out of ten. <laughs> Anyways. Um, uh, what else? Uh, if everything's a ten out of ten, then nothing's a ten out of ten. That's how fucking like a uh, god. I, well, I know. I these know. people. But I guarantee you, man, these these next sequels they have the potential to yeah. to do that. Yeah, uh, Selena tries to kill her father, and uh, then Bruce shows up. And, well, Batman shows up, mm-hmm. and then get you you get that badass hallway scene, and stops mm, him, yeah. and finally takes Falcone outside. 
And it's one of the riddles. Is like, if oh, you yeah, take the it. rat mm-hmm. to the light, you'll find me. Yeah, he yeah. looks up Joe and Pedro. he sees a street light that's, that's yeah. going up. And I'm Falcone like, don't, don't do that. Takes don't him do that. Like, but it's just he wanted to expose <laughs> him. Yep. Yeah, so you can yep. shoot him in the Bring face. him out in the public because I, I guess maybe the Riddler didn't didn't know exactly Well, who he it didn't was. have the physical strength. All right. He had the yeah, mental. that's right. That's also, I don't like that the Riddler shot a dude no, in the face. No, but at the beginning of the film, he beats the fuck out of somebody. Was that well, one no. of his other followers? No, that was him. That was him. That was him, but like the way he was doing it, I could kind of believe it because he's like hitting it like <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit, yeah. I don't know, man. That Surprise shit attack. Strong. I thought su- at first, without that reveal later on, I have no physical strength. I was like, this is a Riddler he's that still will capable. fucking get down. Yeah. No, he's, still he's, capable. He's, he's capable enough to like kill somebody. Yeah, but he's not Batman. Yeah, but he's not, he's not Batman. Okay. Um, yeah, if he's coming at you, you yeah, you, Batman will stop him. <laughs> and then we have the most important reveal where Riddler wasn't challenging Batman the entire time. Riddler thought that he was on the same playing field as Batman. He's yeah. like, you're a vigilante, I'm a vigilante, we're both good guys, let's That's why stamp out these, and these things. And so he's like, look, I kept riding you because we're on the same team. Like, we're partners, we did this together. And Batman's like, no, no, you're fucking crazy. And he's like, <laughs> you're in a bat suit right now wearing eye makeup. You're calling that guy crazy? <laughs> you guys are both fucking nuts. No, the, the I'm rich Riddler is and totally I'm nuts. Uh, in the right to assume that Batman would maybe be on board with. Yeah, this. he's like, no, we're stamping out corruption, and he's just like, no, uh, I'm the. He's like, no, I ain't crazy. It's like good, and you're the chaotic. You're not crazy. You're, <laughs> you got you got a nice step to your boobies right there, and no, you got a bunch of who's, who's it's crazy. <laughs> And he says, "Now nah, you're 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 a fucking idiot," and he's and it really upsets him, and, and he, he starts freaks out. He freaks out, and he's like, "Well, fuck you! I got, I mean, everything is gonna go boom." And he's like, "What?" And then they go to his house to see uh, that there's a carpet. It, the tool he used to hit somebody was Blizzard actually off. for a car- a car- a carpet. It's called a carpet tucker. Carpet tucker. So he must have been doing something in his house. Rips the carpet up and he's got the plan of all the different bombs. And they start to explode. And and then here's where we go into, you know, another fucking set piece. This is so many set pieces in this. And explosions, really cool effects. Like, oh, fuck. Gotham is being flooded, and people are like running. <laughs> the cars are just like I was like, "Whoa, this yep. is interesting. How the fuck are we going to deal with this?" But it turns out not the whole city. There's there's certain elevations that you know people can go to, and I guess maybe you know he was like hurting people to that point or something. Yeah, he, well, he wanted Goth- all of them into Madison Gotham, Square. Mad- Madison Gotham Square Garden. Go- yeah, exactly. <laughs> And uh, the mayor is there, the new mayor, and she's uh, is super progressive, and she's going to take care of all the corruption, and she's going to do everything right, and she's the paragon of truth and justice. But I guess Riddler is like, nah, fuck her. I'm tired uh, of these I'm politicians. Tired of these. Yeah, she's just mm-hmm. doing false promises, even though she's not. She probably seems pretty genuine. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, and he's in jail, and but it turns out that his social network, uh, Batman figures out that he's inspired all these people. He's like, oh, yeah, rifles do well, and all right. Yeah, here's where, you, that, here's like, where we gauge? buy the outfit that Riddler was wearing. Don't forget the clean, uh, the little, the wrap. They wrap their head. I don't know why. I, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. it so their the, hair. It's the gimp thing. I, I don't want. So they don't want any, they don't, any, like you don't want hairs to be dropped at the the scene. True. You know, wear gloves. Mm, yeah. You want all those other okay. stuff. Okay. So right, some right. snipers Makes take sense. her out. She's shot, but I, I guess she she's does. not dead. She, they, she should. She got died. shot. Like, well, so she gets shot in the guts with yeah. a high caliber and rifle. She's fine. And then later in the movie, she's like wading <laughs> through dirty, like right, like Gotham street water. That it's flooding inside of her wound. She's like, I'm good. Come on, you didn't need to do that. She could die, uh, but you can't kill the l- one that's going to bring Winger justice. Winger or something. But I, you think the Gotham, the guts. I think the Gotham little water would have had like dead bodies floating in. Yeah, like, there yeah, were dead bodies shit. in that water. I didn't see it, but <laughs> that, probably, shit, that, was that dark. shit would have happened. <laughs> yeah. It would have been like, You oh, flooded an entire metropolis area. Like, you no, sleep with are, the fishes. <laughs> yeah. So then... Um, you know, so you've got a problem because you've got like fucking 50 guys up there, 30 guys up there doing some sniping and shit. And, yep. But then all of a sudden, bah, 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 fucking explosions go off everywhere. And I'm like, what is this? Is there is there another villain or did the Joker come? <laughs> like, what is going What? Why are there so many explosions? Did the Riddler double cross all the fake Riddlers? But no, it's my fucking Batman. Batman just, the, I don't know. This is the part of, I didn't get. I don't know, I understand Batman's explosions. I guess it's just a distraction so that they're like, what well, the Well, no, no, because the people down below were only wet and scared of being shot at. He wanted to rain fire and glass, and glass. on them That's as well. That's what I was going to say. Like, I was no, like, no, no, I don't no. get that. I was like, Batman's here to save us. <laughs> Shards of glass. 
guys. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> my face exploded. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't kill you. <laughs> Whatever. I don't give a fuck. It was awesome yeah. looking. It was cool. So but I'm just saying, like, you think about it, it's like, wait, why would you do that? Just yeah. drop down to one panel. You don't need to break all the panels. No, you do. <laughs> So then he's, shoot, he's using his grapples, his guns again, knocking people off and, and taking people one at a time. And by the way, getting shot a fucking ton. I, I, I don't know if I believe his suit can handle all this amount. And in fact, he takes a shotgun blast at point blank range, but I'm sure some of it would rip his fucking <laughs> face off. But oh, it hit him in the knife. He felt it, though. He fucking he's felt like it. Robocop. Nobody ever fucking shoots this guy in the face. Yeah. Um, um, but then, so then he injects himself with venom? Yeah, That's what I, I was thought gonna, that was yeah, a cool was little say. Easter egg. It might have just been adrenaline, but I hope it's Venom. Do you, I think we're gonna get like some like weird That'd Batman, the, the addict cool. Batman type thing, yeah. where he's got some like I like, like when a movie Bane utilizes shit. the lore of its universe, and mm. yeah, it's there's there's Venom like yeah, on the he's sp- about to pass out, and uh, yeah, because he Selene, goes shot with a shotgun. Yeah, Selena was mm-hmm. getting her ass handed to her. He's like, all right, gotta get up. <laughs> And Stabs it, himself. Uh, Joe, goes berserk. excuse me. She saved Batman. Okay? Yeah, but then after Batman but saved he, he, her, yeah, he then she saves out. Batman. <laughs> but you can't do that because it's Batman. So then she gets knocked out, and Batman has to save her again. And he's gonna kill that dude. He's yeah, punching him in the you, face so much. Like, and when you see that, you actually see the guy's face, and it, his nose is just it's, it's fucked, silly yeah. putty. It's just like smushed. Like his nose goes from ear to ear. Um, and so Batman was going <laughs> to kill that man unless Gordon stopped him. I think that guy, wasn't that guy Easter egg here, maybe if my eagle eye, was he the same guy in the, the church? church? Yeah. That's the what funeral? I was thinking, too. I was thinking, but his face was so messed up. I, <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I don't Anyways, know. That's what I, I think was it was. That guy becomes clay face. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because when they're visiting <laughs> the, the funeral of the mayor, a few guys are like, fuck these rich people, you know, and it's like, it's like and he's like, oh. Oh, you're Bruce Wayne. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. the the Then then water starts to rush in because it breaks all the windows. I just love that effect. It's like fucking mm. chaos and police cars are being thrown in and shit and all the ramparts fall. Uh, but eventually Batman ki- uh, kicks everybody's ass and uh, notices a power line about to hit the water. So Boop. he rolls down there, yeah. sacrifices Potentially sacrificing his life, electrocuting himself to knock it off. I like that. But then they instantly bring him back up. It's like, yeah, okay, no, I, I was like, like, at least you like, could have milked it a mm-hmm. little. Gordon more. could have been down there to save him or something like that yeah. instead of up there. Up exactly, the but he just like comes up himself. Uh, but they have to do a. They did do a really cool image here where it's Batman is the torch bearer. He's the light leading the city out He's of the a darkness. Beacon of hope. Get it? <laughs> yes, that's what it was. I'm like, okay. But before that, all right, too. all right. That's a little too much now, okay? Why don't you stick with your thing and my guy will stick with oh, his thing. Oh, in what movies? Yeah, I know. In what movies is he getting? He doesn't get his thing. The only <laughs> no, hope we get is a they're Batman just, They're just replacing this guy yeah. wholesale, right? <laughs> but, but I did like that. As a Batman fan, it was the number, my, you know, my second favorite. It's like it shows that he's helping regular people. It's not just Batman beating motherfuckers up on the side. They make a point in a case with some imagery to be like, he is the shining light and... The, it's cheesy as fuck, but whatever. He's gonna be now. But he's before not gonna that too, the, uh, <laughs> that uh, goon or whatever. He's like, "Well, we were doing this for vengeance." And Batman's just looking at him like, "Oh shit." Yep. No, he's That's like, me. They, they look. They looked at the thug, and he's like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "I am vengeance." And Batman <laughs> has the "Oh shit." He's like, "Oh shit." That guy's just like me, up. and I, I need to not be the then vengeance you. guy. <laughs> I'm gonna beat up thugs for That's hope what I love. instead of beating up yeah. thugs for vengeance. Then there's a message we. Yeah. There you go. That's this guy right here. But they don't have Superman in this universe. It doesn't exist. That's fine. That's fine because this was a great Batman film, and um, I fantastic. fucking love it. If it's just st- like if it, it's its own thing. Don't yeah. try to cross it over because it Please just does don't. not feel right for his Batman version to cross over with like some like Aquaman, no. like Joaquin real, Phoenix. Yeah, and, 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 just and it just doesn't. That. It's not right. No one over there has the ability to like orchestrate something of that magnitude. <laughs> so stick to your you stick to your like single yes. independent ones. Stick and to they've lane. been great. Here's stick what to sucks. It works. Here's what sucks is they do want to eventually see a crossover, but it's going to have to be with a whole round of new people because they already fucked it up with the DCEU. And it and it's hurts to think about because it's, cause I do want that eventually. But, but it, uh, so far they're doing better so individuals. Exactly. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not done yet because then they have to go and they have to fucking tease in Arkham Asylum. Uh, the Riddler's like, no, you know, because he sees his plans falling apart, and there's a guy, your man, that must, you know, that must suck for you. They treat us like clowns, and uh, you yeah. know, he tells he tells Riddler, Riddler, he's like, are you, you know, he's like, 
does a riddle about him being his friend. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and. <laughs> he comes. <laughs> He starts laughing, and then Riddler does his stupid laugh. And you can tell you he's got the grin. He's got, you know, he's got a messed up face, messed up hair. And I'm like, are they doing motherfucking Joker? Seriously, why are we rushing to Joker? Why does Joker always have to show up like in the you get one, and then you hear Joker immediately? Come on. Why not Scarface? I get it. Puppet? I get it. Joker right? and Batman are inseparable. And yeah. I understand that. But I think I liked the newness of this. I like the detective, the CSI, the, this other stuff. I was hoping for Court of Owls. I was hoping for any number of additional. I was thinking it's going to be the calendar man, man or the, the guy with the cuts all. What's his name? The Zin, some, I, I can't. Think. Do you think they're going to do Hush? Scarf, They've already Scarface. done Ra's al Ghul and the other one. Scarface with a little puppet. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I love that episode <laughs> in uh, the animated series. I fucking love, yeah. Clayface is a good one, though. <laughs> that Clayface doesn't fit in here either. But, uh, Joe, the, <laughs> why are you going to pick the most ridiculous ones? Do <laughs> you remember that one time where, uh, what was it, Alligator? Or what's the fucking lizard dude? And Croc? He, yeah, Croc. He's mm -hmm. like, and then I hit him with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that fucking episode? Does anybody remember what I'm talking about? Because all the villains are like, this one time. I almost had a bad man. And, uh, anyway, it was a great reveal. Then. It's a uh, joke from my, myself. But anyway, they tease Joker. Mm -hmm. And so I guess Joker's going to be involved in the sequel, allied with the Riddler. But they'll probably do somewhere like Riddler gets killed off by Joker's fucking insane craziness. He doesn't care about anybody but himself to elevate Joker to an even higher level so that Batman can then take care of Joker in that film. And then I guess they'll do a third one. No, I hope Joker gets saved Kane. in the third. Maybe they maybe they blow yeah. up Arkham in the second one. And that's how then, then he has to go against all of them when he's like a more mature Batman mm -hmm. in the third film. Yeah. That would... All right, we fine. Can. If you're saving Joker for last, I'll be fine. But and then we have our post credit scene. It's like I want Joker, but then I don't want Joker. Like Later it's, on, I, don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. What yeah, do at the very think? end, there's a little question mark. And types it says out. goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. But then there's a flash a of URL. text that's half a second. I saw it's that. The URL I don't know what it was. To, uh, the website and the website has like. If you solve some stuff, it has a video of the mayor's video campaign that he put out, only re-edited with the Riddler stuff. And people think, well, is this just an extra cool lore thing, like you're in actual Gotham City and you're seeing the video that he put out? Or is there something even more hidden in this for a future it's film? Riddle. People it's haven't Mephisto. yet figured that Mephisto's out Mephisto's in it. So. Like it's, that's the theory, right? Mephisto's yes. got to oh. be in there, yeah. <laughs> that's wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh. Wrong again? No, no, no. <laughs> Mephisto exists, all right? Yeah. So anyways, uh, since we're in the spoilers, uh, I, I, what do you think about the film, the Matt Reeves film we'll never see, the Ben Affleck I guess that's not really Matt Reeves. It was Ben Affleck was going to do the Batman. He was going to direct himself. And then he decided, no, nah, I, I can't do this. I kind of suck. I'm, um, I, did I? I thought there were studio issues that, too. Maybe it was studio issues, or maybe he felt like he couldn't do it justice. And then Matt Reeves came aboard, and they were both trying. It was Matt Reeves and, and Ben Affleck trying something, and then that didn't work out. And then it turned into the Robert Pattinson. So I always wonder. That would have been nice to see. Uh, again, how how could ben that won have me worked over. out? Would yeah, it he could. I think they could have done if it, the writing was better than what we got with Batman. I think he could have done a great job. Yeah. I mean, it sucks. The difference is like you look at them physically. Like Ben Affleck got huge to play Batman. The same with like Christian Bale. Robert Pattinson was small in this movie, yeah. uh, and they really padded his suit up because there's times where he's like pushing a table out, and it's like, is that the Riddler? Yeah. And then it's like, oh shit, that's Batman. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that everyone's getting... six foot seven. Batman is six four. <laughs> We are getting another. Uh, we're getting Ben Affleck back, and he's gonna. I think they're gonna do Ben Affleck and Flash. Mm. I mean, it's already confirmed that we're gonna have uh, the return of um, uh, Michael Keaton as Batman in in the Flash. So maybe they'll throw in Robert Pattinson in that. Maybe they'll f look. Throw if they're gonna in, do something different. I want. Are they gonna put George Clooney or Val Kilmer? <laughs> <laughs> no. I want Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne, and then have them do uh, Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond. Yes, that would that'd be, be pretty film. fucking sweet. Yeah, let's do it. That'd be fucking amazing. 
Robert, wow. like, a, like when they first cast Robert Pattinson, I was like, holy shit, are they doing Batman Beyond? Like, is he be great? There was like way? a Batman Beyond film, like in production, and it never really came out of development hell. Like we'll watching. eventually get there. Batman is so motherfucking popular. You that gotta we'll get, get Terry there. in there. And Come I on. will, I will watch <laughs> that shit. Anyways, uh, the future. Batman is intended to be the first of a new Batman film trilogy and established to. Uh, f- uh, and, and establish a Batman-focused shared universe separate from the DCEU for Warner Brothers. Uh, the key cast members are reported to have signed on for future films. Pattinson says he ha- has ideas on how to develop Batman's characters. And while Clark said Batman would lay the foundation for the future to build on, uh, Pattinson, and, Pattinson and Reeves express interest in introducing Robin and featuring the Court of Owls. Calendar Man, who I thought maybe they would, that's the person in there. And Mr. Freeze as villains yes, in a sequel. Yes, nice to see you. <laughs> and then I the love spin-off Mr. series. Freeze. Yeah. Uh, HBO Max began developing a police sp- procedural television series, Gotham Police Department, uh, writ- to be written by Reeves and Terrace Winter, focused on the police. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, I just didn't like Gotham. The I series was intended Gotham. to expand on the universe of the film and its exploration of Gotham City's corruption. Cool. Why? Um, was it a big hit, It was I guess? unclear if actors w- uh, such as Ryden Pattinson would reprise their role. Uh, during the fan event, the series was revealed to be set during Batman's first year of crime fighting from the perspective of a corrupt officer. Winter left the series over creator differences in November, but was replaced by new showrunner Joe Barton in January 2021. And then the Penguin series is the last thing. By September 2021, HBO Max is now developing a a spinoff, Penguin. Um, Lauren McFrank was hired to write the series with Reeves and Clark serving as producers. Farrell's has been approached about reprising his role from the film, though no deals have been made yet. Um, That's a problem. That's wait a, a minute. Uh, Farrell did sign on to reprise his role in December. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay. While okay. serving as executive producer, the series will be a standalone story from Batman and depict the Penguin's rise to power after uh, the events, and which uh, Clark compared to Scarface 1983. Not Scarface, the Ventriloquist. <laughs> was you, said it. Scarface. you said it. You said it. That's why I said 1983. <laughs> uh, the Ventriloquist. The Al Pacino and, one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that's it. Uh, let us know if. Um, I think let me, we covered a lot of it. Yeah, we did. I, I, I did want to know who the actor was. For the that Joker? Who it plays w- the w- Arkham it, Prisoner in Batman. Yeah, maybe on IMDb. It wasn't in the. the it's right. The credits see. after on the screen because I looked. Yeah, yeah I Barry Co. Kogan. If you don't know the name, you might recognize his face. I do recognize his face. The guy that played Druig in last year's oh. Eternals. Oh, okay. So the guy that can control minds. Mm. Uh, mm. So yeah, uh, will he be in the sequel? While well, no sequel is officially confirmed, so that's who's gonna be the new Joker. Interesting. We're gonna have to compare this uh, his take on the clown prince of crime. To Joaquin, to Cesar Jack, Romero, Cesar Romero, Jack, Jack Nicholson, Nicholson, Jack yeah. Nicholson Heath Ledger. and that's it. And Heath Ledger, we can't forget <laughs> oh, Heath Ledger. You, you can't and that's it. There's nobody Look, else. Well, so where's Robert Pattinson <laughs> on the the right? So there's like Pete Holmes is in there, like Pete Holmes <laughs> Pete in the Holmes is yeah. There. yeah, it's like Michael Keaton. I we got Val Kilmore, Clooney. Clooney's got to be at the bottom. Pete uh, Holmes is above Clooney. Clooney for yeah, sure. For sure. Val Kilmer. Uh, do you think Val Kilmer is? A, you, I, like I Val think, Kilmer, you think Val Kilmer is Pete? above George Clooney? Yes, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Okay, like oh bad nipples. <laughs> Anyways, what, who's your favorite Batman? Put it in the comments down Adam below. West. Where where does uh, uh, I still think? I think uh, it's Michael cri- Keaton. No, it's um, <clears throat> Kevin Conroy. No, well, if you conclude him, he's number one. Yes, uh, well, obviously. Uh, and then I think it's Christian Bale, uh, and then uh, no, Michael Keaton, Christian Bale. So Kevin Conroy, Michael Keaton, Christian Bale, Robert uh, Pattinson, Ben Affleck, uh, uh, Val Kilmer, George. Clooney. How dare you? Where's Adam West? Oh fuck! I <laughs> forgot Adam. There's that's <laughs> There's a lot of bad names. Uh, so, okay, you make your own list. All right. Thank you all so much. We'll see you on the next Angry Joker. Bye, Bye guys. guys.